My name is Manpreet Singh and on behalf of everyone at Basics of Sikhi, we want to wish you all a very happy Basaki. We hope you're all having an amazing day today. And you know, when it comes to Basaki, it's so special because Anyone can take something away from the story of Vasaki. Anyone. And before I get into the story, I want you guys to think about what it takes to do the right thing. Right? So in life, when we got to do the right thing, what does it take for us to do the right thing? Okay, so let's get into the story. So the year is 1675 in India. And the leaders of the Hindu faith, they all get together. And they come and see the ninth Guru of the Sikhs, Guru Teg Bahadurji. They come to see Guruji and they say, we need your help. And Guruji says, what's wrong? The leaders of the Hindus, they say, Emperor Aurangzeb, the Emperor of the whole of India, he's converting us. He's forcing us to leave our Hindu faith. We've got no freedom. Please, can you protect us? Please, can you save us? Now, Guru Tegh Bahadurji, they turn to their son, Siri Govind Raiji. They turn to their young son and they say, Oh son, a great sacrifice is going to have to be made to protect the Hindus. And Siri Govind Raiji, at such a young age, they turn to their father and they say, Oh father, who better than you to make a sacrifice? To save them, who better than you? Imagine a child saying that to their own father. We've all got fathers here or have had fathers in our life. Imagine giving up your own father at such a young age. Now Guru Dev Bahadurji, they say to their son, they say, oh son, don't you understand? Don't you get it? That if I give my life, that you're going to be fatherless? They said, don't you get it? That if I give my life, then your own mother is going to become a widow. And Siri Gobind Raiji, at such a young age, they say something so profound. They say, and what of it? And what of it? What does it matter that I lose my father? What does it matter that my one mother becomes a widow? When we'll be saving millions of children from losing their fathers, when we'll be saving millions of mothers, millions of wives from becoming widows. So Guru Tegh Bahadurji went. They went to the emperor and they challenged them. They said, I am the sole representative of the Hindu faith. They said, you want to convert all of the Hindus? If you can convert me, then all of them will convert willingly. So the emperor, Emperor Aurangzeb, they're thinking to themselves, wow, I can't believe my luck. Here's one person I've got to convert and then everyone's going to convert. Brilliant. So they tried to convert Guru Dev Bahadurji. They tried to torture Guruji. It didn't work. They took the lives of three of Guruji's six right in front of them in the worst way. And it still didn't work. The emperor gave up. And Guru Dev Bahadurji gave their life. They gave their life for the freedom. Imagine the leader of one faith giving their life for the freedom of another faith is unheard of. It's never happened before. Now, Guru Govind Raiji hears the story of what happened to their father. They hear the story and they say, hold on, how comes only three six stood with my father at that time? Where was everyone else? There's hundreds of six there. Where were they? And the Sikhs say, oh Guruji, the Sikhs were somewhere in the crowd. They stayed quiet. No one knew who was a Sikh and who wasn't a Sikh. No one knew. No one could tell. And Guru Gobind Raiji at the time, they said, that's not right. That can't be right. A Guru of the Sikh never shies away from doing the right thing. That is a Guru of the Sikh. Someone who does the right thing. The fact that they blended in with the crowd, that's not right at all. They said, one day I'm going to give these Sikhs of mine such a form, they're going to stand out from a crowd of thousands. From a crowd of thousands, you'll be able to tell, that is a Sikh. She is a Sikh, he is a Sikh. 
And that's exactly what they did. In the year 1699, Guru Gobind Rai Ji, they gathered all the Sikhs. Imagine, there's got to be a couple of thousand people here. Imagine 10, 20 times as much as everyone here in Trafalgar Square. They call out to their Sikhs and they say, who is willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice? Who's willing to give up everything that they own? Their mind, their body, their soul? Who's willing to give that up for me? The whole crowd, imagine. Tens of thousands of people, they stayed silent. So Guruji called out a second time. Again, silence. When Guruji called out a third time, one person, one person out of a crowd of tens of thousands stood up. One person decided to go against the crowd. He stood up and he gave himself to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. His name was Bhai Daya Ram Ji. And he was the first one to become a Khalsa. Khalsa meaning pure ones. And that was on the day of Asakhi. So this day of Asakhi we're celebrating now. We're celebrating that event. That event when the Khalsa, these pure ones were made. They were given this form to stand out. Now, I ask you guys to think about what the people in this story would have in common. What it takes for us to have, what it takes for us to do the right thing. And they all had courage. Think about it. Guru Tegh Bahadurji had the courage to give up their own life for another faith. Siri Gobind Raiji at such a young age, they had the courage to give up their own father. Who does these things? Bhai Dayaramji had the courage to stand up. He didn't care about what the crowds were doing. He didn't care about fitting in and walking with the crowd. He went and did the right thing. It all takes courage. And for us, every single one of us here today, myself included, for us to do the right thing is going to take courage. It takes guts. You see, in our lives, we might be with a group of friends or family that are doing the wrong thing. They're doing things that we don't necessarily agree with. Now, it's easy for us to say, okay, I'll stay quiet. I'll go with the crowd. It means that I fit in. It's safer for me to fit in. That's the easy route. But the path of courage is a much harder path. The path of courage is someone that says, you know what? I don't agree with what you guys are doing, I'm going to walk away. Even if it's your own friends, even if it's, if it's your own family, to, to walk away from something negative takes courage. In our lives, we might see someone get attacked, for example. Now, the easy thing to do is to think, well, at least it's not me, and just carry on walking. That's the easy part. The easy thing to do is pull out our phone and record it for our social media. That's the easy thing. But the harder thing, the path of courage is the path where we do something to help that person. Even if it's calling for help, we still take action in that moment to help the person. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. And to do the right thing, it takes courage. Guruji says a sura, a warrior. They say sura so bechaniye. A warrior can be recognized how? Jo lare deen ke hit. Who fights for their deen? Who fights for their beliefs? Who fights to do the right thing? And if you think about it in life, every single day, we've got to fight to do the right thing, right? It's the exact same thing. We, we are faced with choices to lie or tell the truth. It might mean that people look at us differently. It might mean that we look and we lose our friends and our families, but we still walk a path of truth and that takes courage. It takes courage to do the right thing. Maharaj says that that is a warrior who doesn't shy away. That person who doesn't shy away from doing the right thing is a warrior in this world. No matter what, that is a warrior. They go on to say, Puraja, Puraja, Katmere. They might be cut from piece to piece. Maharaj, Guruji isn't just talking about physically cut piece by piece. They're talking about our reputation. 
to do the right things, we might lose our reputation. We, our reputation might get cut from piece to piece. But that warrior never leaves that battlefield. Meaning, Guruji is not just talking about the physical battlefield where you've got one army on one side and an army on the other. They're talking about the battle that we face in our lives every single day. These decisions to cheat or not to cheat, to lie or tell the truth. It, telling the truth might mean that we lose friends, we might make a little less money because we didn't cheat someone. But it's the better way of doing things, right? Why? Because it's the right thing to do. And even that in itself takes courage. And courage is the foundation of this Khalsa. Look at them. Look around at these Khalsa. Look at them with their uncut hair. They wear these bangles, these gare on their wrists. And all these other 5Ks to stand out. They want to stand out. Why? Because they want to be beacons. They want to be beacons in this society. They want to stand out as people who are there to do the right things. They want you to come up and ask for help. That's what they're there for. That's the whole point of standing out. Right now in London, Trafalgar Square is the safest place to be. Nothing's going to happen to you here in Trafalgar Square. Why? Because this Khalsa, there's a whole army here. I look around, I see thousands of these people. They wear turbans, they look so different, they all stand out. There's a whole army of people here that want to do the right thing. They're looking for the opportunity to help someone. Not just physically from being attacked, they want to feed people as well. Deg, deg, fateh. Deg means food, deg means to protect, and fateh means victory. A victory for a Khalsa, a victory for all these people, men and women in turbans, these people that stand out, victory for them is to feed you and to make sure that you're protected. That's all they care about. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing, it's the right way of humankind living. And even that in itself, it takes courage. So, I'll leave it there. Now, if there's one thing we take away from Vasaki this year, let it be courage. Because no matter what we do in our lives, we're going to need courage to do the right thing. So if you want to learn more, please check out Basics of Sikhi. We've got a stall at the back and we're on all digital platforms. Please talk to some of our lovely helpers in the yellow and blue hoodies. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and God bless you all. Vahe Guruji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guruji Ki Fateh. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Ramapreet Singh from Basics of Sikhi. Um,